When a man pays his debt to the society, it's a done deal. Right. Exactly. It's a new exactly. slate. Yes. Right? Exactly. So we're here today united, not just here, but all over this country. They say, oh, it's, it's because of his past, or he's a felon and he's that. Well, was that 12-year-old little boy a felon that got killed? No, he was not. Well, the same thing happened to him? Did they ride up on him and not only two seconds kill him? Probably we have a problem with these police that don't have no value of the black life. We're not just making nothing up here. Think people are out here because we're making something up? They say, oh, you guys are angry. Well, we want justice. We want justice. We can't beat you. You own the military. You own all the guns. You talk about my people having guns. You make the guns. You make all that stuff. Yeah, but we can beat them mentally, though. Yeah, but we can't beat them with the guns. So this is how we have to do it. Take it to the judicial We have to have a voice, and we have to. Right. We have to appeal to the American people because the American people, I believe, are fair. Yeah, and nobody's planning. The American people are fair. Yeah. We might not be able to uh, trust the authorities That's right. or the people that are in political power, but the American people can see because I see there's all kind of races out here. Black, white, Mexican. Right? This is not about me. This is about us as a whole. Because if we don't do nothing about this, then I bet we're going to eat ourselves up from the inside out. That's what's going to happen. They might not believe it to be true, but that's what's going to happen. Because you know what? If you run a scared dog, and he could be scared. But if you run him into a corner, if you keep pushing that scared dog into a corner, you leave him no chance but to defend himself. Right? That's right? Just to defend That's right. yourself. That's right. No, we're not being offensive. We're trying to defend ourselves. Yes. Right? That's right. So look, I just want to say this to everybody that's here. It could be you. Yeah, it is. No, but it could be you right now. It could be you tomorrow. Right now. David. Your son, your daughter. They yeah. even treated us like criminals you know last night at the hospital. They made us stand outside for hours. Yeah. For hours before they even told us that he was dead at the medical examiner. Yeah. They wouldn't even let our family go in and use the bathroom. Yeah. Like, who does stuff or like that kidding. to a family member that just lost somebody? Like, there was no compassion. There was nothing. Well, they do it to black people, though. They do it. Right. They do it to black well, we've people. Been I went to the map. Well, it's we've not that we've been allowing it. it. It's not that we've been allowing it. We ain't stepped up and we ain't stood yeah. firm and stood strong well, on what we sure it's, it's not that we have allowed it, right? There's a system in place here. That's right. It's the system that's in place. That's been in place for 400 years. Yes. This is not nothing new. Right? Not See, they've been killing us for a long time. Yes, it just so have. happened in these present times that we have cameras with eyes on them. Right. Yes. Thank you for the so now the rest of the world is beginning to find out what the black community has been knowing for hundreds of years. Right. Yes. They're even right. killing our black boys in school mentally. They they suspended my six-year-old boy for being disruptive in class and he has ADHD when they didn't suspend the white boy for being disruptive in class for right. hitting the teacher That's what happened. and yelling and disrespecting and my son is never disrespecting the teacher. We got stories out here, not just my story. Everybody has a story. That's right. Speak out somebody else on the story. What about our fathers that too. don't take care of their kids? We need them to be there. Yes. Well, who are our kids? Well, let me say something to you, sister. We need we need them to be there for if our kids. If it had not be been for the laws designed to Jim put Crow. our fathers Jim into Crow. jail, okay. then maybe some of our fathers would be out here. Let me, let me explain this to you. Okay. Just it's because a country racism. makes a law don't mean that that law is right in the eyes of God. Yes. Yes. Do you know there was a law that you were a criminal when you would run away as a slave. Yes. Yes. That was a law. Yes. So you think that law is right just because they said they made it? Right. Yes. So now I have to teach my brothers and sisters when you come home, don't automatically think that you are a criminal because they said you are. Do you know mentally after about 
50 years and then that 100 years of slavery that the slave be begin to really begin to believe that he was really a criminal when he ran for his life? Yes. Mm. Brainwash. Do you know that? Brainwash. Well, it's the same kind of thing each brother feels right now. When he goes in the streets, when he see a policeman, he automatically feels that he's a criminal. You're not a criminal because there was laws designed to make you feel like that. Well, You're I have not. something to say. When that man made it home, he made a big impact on the city. That's it. Yes. And that man, he, his heart was big as this city here, yes, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He would give his shirt off the back. If you came to him, tell him you was hungry. He was going to feed you. And he'd give you a few dollars. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I, he had love. And I mean, man, for this to happen, we can see that he's well loved. I mean, it's self-explanatory. We all here. Much well, love. Well, we want to know. From the police's perspective, mm -hmm. was that they saw a suspicious car. What? Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. But what we saw is policemen in tactical uniforms. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. With shotguns. Yeah. Yes. But they saw a, a suspicious car. They were I always thought they backed away when they thought there was a gun in place. Yeah. Not uh -huh. run to the car. Mm -hmm. And they said that he did not comply. You see, what happens is, is the police always has a story. Yes, they do. And this has been going on around the country. But when the video comes out, they act like we don't see what we see. Huh? They act like you didn't really see what you saw. It's like throwing a rock and hiding your hand. Right, right, right. But we saw what we saw. The people came. He had his hands up like this. Yes, his hands was up. Surrender. You know why? Because he was scared. Exactly. For his life. He was scared for his life. They say get down. What did he do? He got down. And then what happened? They shot him in the back. What? Now that's the truth. That's the truth. Drag assassination. They shot him in his back. So you telling me they just happened to see a suspicious car, but you got tactical gear on because you come to do one thing to kill. Kill. Well, the video was it was in laying in wait. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. waiting. They, they were waiting right there on the side. He was waiting to right right in, in the play. They planned it. They premeditated. Of course they premeditated. They planned it. But we don't see what we see though. Candles are under the post. This going I can't say this got to stop. It's got to do more than stop. It's got to change yes. all the way around. Yes, man. Amen. A change come before a stop come. Yeah. We're all family. Yeah. Everybody. A change come before a stop come. Everybody here know each other. Yeah. Everybody. They say there's this. There's no change without revolt. Sometimes you gotta take the pain. There you go. There's no change without revolt. Okay. Well, revolutions let me explain. make change. Okay. Right. right. That means they gotta work yeah. some pain before there's happiness. And, and some and people don't know each other here. That's right. He brought this community of Seattle together. Whether they know each other or not, when the funeral comes about, you will see the capacity that he had on Seattle and, and beyond. Wait until you see the funeral and you will see the magnitude. Criminal, whatever you want to call him, you will see the impact that this man had on this community. But even, but even, but even more than that, his record had nothing to do with the man that he is. Before he was a criminal. And as a human being, he deserved the right of due process. Yes, due process. Due process. But y'all didn't think he was deserving of due process. Well, that's not it. They had a hidden agenda. Of course they did. No, they didn't have a hidden agenda. It was quite well, public. They had a agenda. Well, yes. They had a agenda. Right. Yes. Yes. It was quite public. Yes. Yes. They did exactly what they wanted to do. You wasn't going to be here no more. We're going to be the execution of the judge like they've been to our children around this country. Yes, they have. For years. We all know For what years. it was really about. Yeah. He wasn't no fool. He wasn't gonna try to pull no gun on nobody that got killed. Exactly. Ten officers with shotguns and some more stuff pulled out. Come on, man. You gotta to lose try to lose pull weight 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 off. Right. Right. He's already done his time. Say it, uh, they didn't tase him, they didn't give him no chance. He didn't deserve to be tased. They went in to complete the assignment. They surrendered to the police. He was very intelligent. Yeah, they was intimidated about that man. No, they weren't. They surrendered to the police. They would, that'd be, that's an excuse. That's an excuse they want to use. That they wouldn't intimidate. It came there with a purpose. And some of them people have been in war, have been in the military, and are trained assassins. That's, they weren't scared. 
when a police officer use an excuse that he's scared, I want to say, how can I tell? Right. How can I tell that you scared and these people don't got no gun? Most of these people that's being killed are people around this country don't have no weapon, but you scared? What, are you going to bite you to death? And you got a gun? Right. You got a gun. You're not scared. Speak the truth. But that's your excuse to kill our people. That's what they talked about at that briefing before they approached them, that meeting. I know they had to have a meeting oh, before yes, they yeah. approached him. Yeah, but and the meeting wasn't there. The meeting, the meeting was the people kill. above them that gave yeah. they the gave the go-ahead. Yeah, they gave the orders. Right. right. It was the people above them. See, yes, the police have a responsibility, but there are some people above them that allows it to go on. That's the right. ones that is hitting that's that we can't right. see. That's right. That's right. The ones we can't see. That's right. That's the ones. That's the real big, the big problem. That's right. You know? And so they only think, well, all those little black people, all they're going to do is come and yell and scream and, and all this. And But you know what? Boy, we get the raising our voices together and it unites across this country. Power numbers. As one. Oh, man. You're going to see some Shaka Zulus come back one more time. Oh, yeah, they nice. <laughs> we here right You're going to see some Mandingos right come back one more time. We here right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to see it come back. You don't think so, but it's coming. It's rising up all over the world one more time. We waking up. Yeah. Know that. We waking up. You got to wake up. We waking up. Very special for us. Yeah. Thank God for the internet and cameras, huh? And videos, huh? Cell phones and technology. He loved his family and his friends, and yes, if he, he loved you, he loved you. He loved you. He, he, he loved you. He took care of yes, us. Yes, he did. Yes, he watched he did. over us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's what his his ambition was to get us off the street. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He Come took on. care of us. <laughs> yeah, we brought him home. Um, when he came home, after doing. All that time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all that time. Oh, man. They said the man wow. was known to carry a gun. Mm -hmm. Now, when you on parole, that's right. the first thing you ain't gonna exactly. do. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's what you ain't gonna do. Tell, them all. Tell the truth. Know, he was known to carry a gun. Now, I've been to the penitentiary. I understand. You be? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The gun was his yeah. yeah. man. I that's understand. What I don't yeah. already the know. Yes. You know. So I don't have anything to hide, but I, I have a redemptive story. He did too. Yes, he did. You know what I'm saying? So I have an opportunity to talk to youngsters all over this country. Yes. Because they say I've been there. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes decisions. I talk to Shay often. That's my, I'm, his, I'm his big brother. Mm -hmm. yes, sometimes yes. we got to think about some of these decisions we make. That's right. Choices. This is real. I'm not talking about him. I'm just talking about us all right us. now. Yes. Yeah. Life is choices and decisions. Everybody choices. got choices. Yes, you know? Sometimes I know. You guys know me. Y'all know I was in them streets for real. Yeah. You know? And I know the tug of what the streets can do. That's right. I know that fire, that tantalizing visualization of the month. I know it. I understand it. Yes, I do. You know? But sometimes, you know, some of that they used to say that all money ain't good money. No, it ain't. I don't know if all y'all know not that, but all time. money ain't no, good it's money. Not, it's not. Huh? I know somebody uh. can feel me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> sometimes it's good to say no. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. That's right. Sometimes it's good to say no. Yes, yes right. You know? So now they got all these laws. See, just, see, just like uh, um, when the Clintons brought in those laws and they begin to destroy our families and put our uh, black men in jails all over this country. Yeah. That's what they did. Teach. This is what this is a part of. Too. Teach. And so they say, well, this is what they say to us. Why don't you guys, why don't your, why don't the black fathers uh, raise the children? Because you keep putting them in jail. Well, huh? you keep creating laws. Right. <laughs> to put them behind bars. Take them away As from you go family. along, well, we'll just go Designing. along and we'll just make a law. Tailoring. Do you know that there was a time that they thought about alcohol like they do crack cocaine? Right. Yeah. Right. They did. Did you know there was a time that you can go to prison? For a long time, if you was a bootlegger. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay, but what happened? That's right. When they felt it was convenient to start making some money, money. Off a right, tax of it, right. Then they changed the law. Tell the truth. If something is wrong, it's wrong from the beginning to the end. Yeah. I'm just trying to show you that they can make things up as they go along, right? Yeah. So that you won't get caught in your mind to believing 
that just because they made a law that you bad. That's right, boy. Tell the truth. You understand? Mm. The only the law is significant because they have the might to back up whatever they create. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, they have a military, they have a police force, and they have firepower That's right. to back up whatever law they want to create. That's right. They also got time. Right. Unlimited resources and unlimited Unlimited resources. Ooh, right? Sweet. So I just want to really, my message today is that for this situation here, that we can take this in each and then into everybody's life, individually, and learn from it. Yes. You can learn from it. Yes. My brother's life is not going to be in vain. I can sure tell not. Not. I come to go to work. No, it's not. I come to go to work now. Oh, yeah. yeah. We know you did. We know oh, you I come did. to go to we know work. You did. The whole family's yeah. standing behind us. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. We strong. Amen. We come to go to work. You're the man for oh, the yeah. job. We got three attorneys on the job yes, right now. Yes, 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 yes. And then yeah. some. Yeah. yeah. With we that being said, can we come stand up tomorrow and uh, y'all tell a friend and tell another friend and let's be out in bigger numbers. Just your show. Amen. Amen. I appreciate Amen. all the love, yeah. all the support from what everybody. What we can't do is we can't let this go away and be a momentary uh, thought. We've got to really be sincere, and that's the only thing way we can make change. We seem to be temperamental, and let it be a, a, a temperamental issue uh, for a moment. Right. But this has got to be sustainable. Yes. Yes. Sustainability yes. Yes. is what makes change. It's sustainability, and we've got to be concrete and steadfast, unmovable yeah. Yeah. to make change. We've got to be serious about taking care of ours. Yes. And he yeah. said, come back, that means come back. Yeah. Cook your dinner, be on time, you know where it is now, you ain't got to get lost like us, and be back. Mm -hmm. That's right. And make a statement. And make a statement. Until we got to make change. And during the process, we got to do what we got to do, make the calls that we got to do, make the calls that we got to make, and make change. Yeah. Let's be sustainable. Yeah. Let me ask King Me, man. What do he do for you, man? Just show a little story with us of what, how he touched you, what he do. Because see, they mm -hmm. people think that he's a monster. You don't want to do the rap? Yeah. 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 I heard that. Yeah. yeah. You know, I meant to say, uh, I was a victim of a violent crime a couple years ago, right? And I, and I do, I do music, right? And uh, after I got shot, I was afraid to do a show, right? Because of uh, you know, just like post traumatic stress or something like that, man. Right. And I seen him in the club one time. Didn't know who he was. Never met him before. And he came up to me and he said, "Man, uh, he said I want to let you know, brother, you a king. Yes. Whether you sitting or standing, you a king." I said, man, I said, I said, that mean a lot coming from you, man, because, you know, I've been following your story. I watched you come home. I'm a friend of your brother's on Facebook, man. I said, I look up to you. Right. And he got on his knees, and he grabbed my legs in the club, and he prayed for me. Yes. In, the yes. in the middle of the club. Yeah. And ever right. since then, every show, everything I had, he was front row. Right, supportive. You know what I mean? And for a man of his stature, of his level, to tell me the love he had for me every time he's seen me, every single time, you know, I ain't cried like that, man, since I lost my mother. My mother was murdered in 1988, and I ain't cried like I cried last night since then. That was my brother, man, and mm -hmm. I, I'll never be the same ever again in life. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be out here for him every day, you, even sir. in this wheelchair. Right. He mean that much to me. Right. Thank you. Thank you. We got many people here that he touched their lives. Yes. Well, I, I was incarcerated with him just recently. I fell when I was 18, right? I met Shay, and I spent 10, so... I went in as a kid, came out as a grown man. Wow. No, no, no talent, no tools, no nothing to use. You know what I mean? But when I met Shay, taught me a lot. Growth and development was everything he's always taught. You know what I mean? He touched me deeply. Like everybody here, I don't know nobody here, but my guy, it's a different moment when we get there. It's a different environment. Whole different intimate moments that you share with people that you're not willing to share with somebody when you're in this world right here. But that's my guy, and I'm going to be here every day holding it down because, like, I mean, I'm fresh off work. You know what I mean? Grown man now. I mean, doing what I got to do. And this is what I hear. This is what I come to after work. Like, didn't want to believe it, but it's, it's the reality. Holy same shit. In 15 months, he touched us more than some of our fathers have touched us in our whole lives. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. Good dude. But he was our sacrifice. Good man. Because it's time now. He ain't painting no more. No, not at all. Yeah, no more, you know? He was full of life, you full know, life. full of good wow. energy, you know. I knew. I knew. Yes. That boy was so funny. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. boy is just so hilarious. Always. 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 Always
Man, <laughs> too much. <laughs> For you to share, you know, have fourth grade. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He always got to come back for you. Yeah. He's witty. He's witty. You guys, we ready to move the crowd over here and have a moment of silence? Yeah. Come on. A moment of prayer. And, uh, give him his, uh... Everybody turn off your cell phones, please. Please. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 